de voksede rigtig, rigtig meget fra, fra de startede og så til de sluttede. First Lego League offers an inspirational and engaging way of learning. Miriam, Jakob, Kirsten and Mitch share their experiences. As kids participate in project-oriented activities in First Lego League, they're learning concepts like mechanical advantage and programming ideas. They're learning practices of becoming a good designer and a good problem solver. And they're learning new perspectives, new ways to see themselves as a designer and new ways of looking at the world and understanding the world around them. The process involves research and product design, as well as robot construction and programming. The children go through development phases that teach them valuable science, technology, engineering, math and life skills. I get a comradeship out of it, and I use my knowledge, and I get a lot more concentrated when I work with some things. I couldn't find out how to make pyromatik when I started, and now I can almost in the head, and so... Og så kommer de andre altid over til mig. Kan du ikke lige hurtigt lave det her pyromatik til, til robotten? Og så, ja, så fik jeg det hurtigt. Nå, så vi har, man har sin egen. Ja. Man lærer at være mere fri, komme med sine meninger. Og tænke i andre baner, end hvad man er vant til. Og så det var så meningen, at det her ur måle det her. One thing that I really like about the first Lego League activities is that kids are acting as designers. And when you're a designer, it's not just about designing a technology, but designing a technology for someone, having an audience in mind. Designers are always thinking about who's going to be using this, how will they be using it. So it's not just thinking about the technology, but about this interaction between a person and the technology. One of the reasons it's so important to make physical things is it then sparks conversation among all the people standing around it. So it's not so much the looking at the object, but the interactions among all the people who are then looking at the object together. It gives you things to talk about, and it gives you a more explicit way to talk about things. When they create a robot and tell the robot how they want it to behave, it's a way of taking their own thinking and putting it out in the world and, and trying it out and sort of testing out their ideas. So when they write a program to control their Lego Mindstorms robot, they're actually taking sort of a piece of their mind, putting it into the robot, and seeing whether their idea really works out the way that they expected it to. And if the robot doesn't behave the way that you expected it to, Single. it tells you there's a problem with your idea. There's a bug in your idea. But it then gives you an opportunity to not just fix the robot, but to fix your ideas. Man vokser rigtig meget mentalt. Man sætter flere ting i perspektiv. Man lærer at, at se tingene fra andre folks perspektiv end ens eget. Øhm, tage kritik til sig og rent faktisk gøre noget ved det. Og man, så får man det meget. Man har det hyggeligt med det, man arbejder sammen med.